Hello, in this video we're going to see how to add sound effects to animations. So in the previous video we made some animation montages, so if you want to follow along with this video, either open the animation montage basic attack, or if you have any other uh, animation that you want to add a sound effect into. So here I have my animation montage, and as you can see I have a melee swing on the staff, and I want to add a sound effect here as he's swinging the staff right here, and I don't want to add it to the whole thing just when he's about to swing his staff. So the way you do that is in the animation montage, you come into the notify section. Now you don't have to add a new notify section, but to keep things organized, because as you'll see in the future for um, visual effects, you also use these as well. So I'm going to come to the track, click on it, and then hit on add notify track. And I'm going to call this one sound effects. And once I have done that, it's pretty simple. I come here on, down on the sound effects row and I right click. Uh, go to add notify and there is a play sound notification as you can see there are other stuff here that we're going to talk about a little bit later but right now we want to talk about the play sound so we go ahead and add that and then we can click on the play sound and we're going to be able to see that there is in the details panel in the top right there is a section called sound and we can go ahead and click on that and choose any sound that we want. So if you have a sound in your project that you want to use, in my case, I'm going to search for Wukong and there's a bunch of sounds that I can choose. And I'm going to choose the sound effect um, LMB engage right here. And I'm going to reduce the volume a little bit, the volume multiplier, so I don't blast you um, your ear in this video. I'm going to make it 0 0.25. Now, as you can see, when I play this, you'll, you'll hear him play a sound. Now this one here is a audio cue. I want to make sure I choose an audio wave. So let me choose this one here. Just so I can show you guys I'll how adapt, it looks like. Right, so here I'm going to reduce this volume a little bit more. I'll adapt, I'll adapt, I'll adapt, and as I'll you can, adapt. Now you can, what you can do is you want to place this wherever you want the animation to play. And one trick here is to hold I'll shift. Adapt. And as you hold shift, you'll see uh, where in the animation you are as you move the sound effects. So I'm going to put it right here as he's swinging his staff. So if I go ahead and press save and go ahead and play the game, you'll see that um, whenever I use this ability, he's going to use that sound effect. So it, it really it's really as simple as that. Uh, to add a sound effect to your animation. Now what I want to show you uh, is it's to be able to randomize the sound effects whenever you're playing an animation because maybe you don't want it to play the same sound effect over and over again and most games do this. Uh, they try not to be repetitive. So let's go ahead and go back into our, um, our animations. Uh, I'm going to make right click here and go into audio and choose meta sound source. So meta sound is something that has been introduced to Unreal fairly recently. So I'm gonna call this MS underscore basic attack and MS stands for MetaSound. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Now again, I'm no expert in audio, uh, but I just wanna show you the possibilities of, of things that you can do, especially if you're a bit more um, educated on the topic. So what I wanna do is I wanna have a, a list of different sounds and i want to choose randomly between them whenever uh, i want to play the basic attack animation i want to choose one of these sounds at random so the way you do that is you on the top left you can add a variable so i want to add a variable that holds all the different sounds that are possible so i'm going to call these um, attack sounds and what i want to do is i want to make it an array so i can have a bunch of them and the type needs to be a wave type so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to find it right here so it's a wave asset and over here in the bottom you'll see that I have a default value and right now I have zero zero things in my array so I'm going to click on this plus button so I can add an element so I'm going to click on this um, I'm going to click on this icon here and I'm going to search for Wukong and I want to get a bunch of these different sounds so I'm going to take this first one I'm going to go take a bunch of other ones and I'm going to fast track it, go forward so you can see them. All right, so I went ahead and added six different sounds uh, from the assets that are provided by the by Epic. And now I'm going to want to choose one of these six different sounds here and play it. So how, you want to 
click on this variable you have here, drag it into the scene, and you'll get your variable here. And then you're going to click on it on this icon here, drag, and you're going to search for random. And you'll get this random get like this. And what this node does is it takes a ran it chooses a random um, element from the six different sounds that you have uh, in this array. Now, what we want to do at this point is we want to play that uh, play that sound. So you drag on from this input, and you search for play, and you can choose one of the wave players. Uh, you can, you have all these different ones: one to play mono um, for quad stereo. Again, I'm not too educated on these topics, so I'm just going to choose this one right here uh, to play mono. And what I want to do is first, I want to pick a random sound here and once i have the random sound i want to play it in the uh, i'm going to put it as the into the wave player for, in order for it to play and then once i'm done i want to um, play the sound on the output and once i'm finished playing the sound i want to end the meta sound so once you have that in place you can go ahead and test it out by hitting the play button and you'll i'll keep pressing it and you'll uh, pretty much hear different sounds every time it may repeat sometimes but most of the times it's going to be a different sound fast as the wind bong. i'll adapt so as you can see it's playing all these different sounds um each time i'm playing it so i'm going to go ahead and save this go back into my animation montage i'm going to click on the sound effect i added here and i'm going to go back at the top and in the sound section i'm going to click and i'm going to search for the meta sound that i just created so i'm going to search and i'm going to pick ms basic attack and i'm going to increase the volume a little bit and now i'm going to go and play and you'll see that i forgot to save i'm going to go ahead and play and you'll see that every time i play w it's going to play a different kind of sound Is flame. Taste my staff. And that's how you can create randomized sounds for your animations um, in the animation montage. That's pretty much how you add sound effects to animations. Thanks for watching.